DeForest Buckner talking about what you need in order to be a really good NFL player, I think is very instructive. And what he talks about, and you'll hear him talk about it, you need a strong why. Getting up. Why am I going to get up? Why am I going to work hard today? Why am I going to every single rep when it's 95 degrees out here like it is? What are you going to do to make yourself better and enter that realm of discomfort? How is that worthwhile to you? That's what we heard from uh, with DeForest Buckner. And there's a cameo appearance by Michael Pittman Jr. As uh, as he kind of interjected into the uh, DeForest Buckner media availability. What are you seeing from Laiatsu, particularly when it comes to his hunger, knowing what he's been through and how he's kind of taken that and implemented into his first ring? Yeah, I mean, you can just tell the kid loves, loves ball. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just seeing, uh, obviously, his growth throughout since OTAs and, um, you know, he just pops up on tape each and every day with the effort that he plays with. And, uh, you know, I mean, he's just constantly showing up on tape. And uh, it's been impressive to see support. What about Quiddy? I mean, he's talking about losing, like, eight pounds heavy. Yeah. Have you noticed any differences in how he plays? Most definitely. I mean, uh, I, I, when, he, when he showed up to, to report day, I mean, I told Quiddy, you know, he doesn't look like a old school middle linebacker anymore I mean he, he uh, leaned up a bunch and uh, you can you can tell the difference in the hard work he's put in um, during the offseason I mean he's been you know popping up on tape as well um, especially in the pass rush are you mad that Michael Pittman hasn't tried to fight you in practice yet? Uh, Pitt knows better. You know, you know, he he picks and chooses his battles. You know what I mean? He's, you know, he's in a different weight class. My, uh, twin, right here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. We're like twins, but uh, you know, he's uh, he's in a different weight class. So, you know, he's a smart guy. I could even have a lean in to the mic. Have you seen guys step up with Samson now? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's been, you know, obviously Samson is a big blow for us. Uh, I mean, he's, I, mean, I just feel terrible. I know the hard work that he put in throughout the offseason. And, um, you know, obviously for a season to be cut short, you know, um, before we even start, uh, I mean, it's, it's terrible to see. But I'm um, seeing the, you know, the guys step up and uh, really take on that role. And, you know, obviously it's a, it's a open, you know, it's a really open spot and it's competition. Um, you know, it just, it just makes everybody better. Um, you know what I mean? Have a competition with, with amongst all the ends, uh, even at the V-tackle position. So, uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's one of the make guys better. What have you seen from Tommy and, and Taven mm -hmm. uh, at the D-tackle? Yeah, um, you know, just saw, obviously, obviously just based off of last year, I mean, just, just growth, you know what I mean? And uh, especially with Tommy Wall um, being a young player, um, just um, the coaching points that he's received from, you know, Coach Partridge uh, throughout OTAs and early on in camp. Um, you can see the strides that he's made each and every single day. Is he playing with more power than he did last year. Yeah, most definitely. A lot more bold, though. Yeah, a lot more power. Um, obviously, you know, he's a he's a twitchy guy and a powerful guy, and he's really using that power and, uh, you know, learning to really play the game within the game and working off of his power as well. You know what I mean? Knowing when, you know, an offensive lineman is settling for his power, now he's going to, you know, go to his, uh, you know, um, you know, working an edge and, you know, the speed rush. So it's, it's been pretty cool to see. When you kind of hit this, like, hot part of training camp, you know, mm -hmm. maybe two weeks in, like, yeah. what is EJ's speed? bring to just the, the team with his personality his yeah, presence yeah. No, no, yeah just his energy I mean you know I mean obviously you know EJ is always you know being a positive guy each and every single day and he comes with a lot of energy and um you know he likes to talk a lot of talk a lot of game throughout the you know throughout practice and stuff like that but it's it's you know some good good energy for the defense to feed off of what do you want to see about the defensive line that improved yeah um as a defensive line, obviously in the run game, you know we want to dominate the run game, and because uh, that's where it all starts. You know, when it comes to the pass game, um, um, yeah, we hit, we did great in, in sacks and everything, but just kind of consistent pressure on the quarterback throughout, throughout, throughout the entire game. You know what I'm saying? Constantly being a problem, and uh, I think uh, obviously we have the guys in the room to do that. If, uh, when it comes to playing football, how much does your why matter? Like your personal reason for playing, whatever it is, and how much does that, I guess, add to your desire to be successful? Oh, yeah, I mean, you have to have a strong why. I mean, uh, you know, it takes a strong person to, you know, especially throughout an NFL season, um, each and every single day, getting up, you know what I mean, when your body's hurting. And, uh, you know, obviously, and it's, and it's tough, especially through the tough times of the season. Say you're on a losing streak or something like that, and it's hard to get out of bed. I mean, you need to have a tough, you know, a strong why to get up every day and uh, put in the work, especially when nobody's looking, and uh, go out there and perform on Sunday. So um, here, the why has to be extremely, extremely strong. Have you seen that from the last year at all? Like, just as far as, like, he, I mean, I don't know if he has a bad day. <laughs> nah, yeah, I mean, especially, I mean, like, like his story. I mean, obviously, earlier in his career, I mean, he almost had the game taken away from him. And, uh, I mean, personally, I can't. 
I can tell you, I cannot tell you how that feels because uh, I've never been through it. But I mean, you can tell, like I said, that the kid loves both, and um, that's all that really, really matters. Besides, obviously, his family, and um, you can see that uh, on display each and every day.